Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect espresso on your Breville Barista Express. The first thing we're gonna do, turn the machine on, put your open back water filter in, let it heat up for five minutes. Next thing we're gonna do, grab our scale. Okay, grab our tools, take our dosing cup, put it on the scale, zero it out. Grab your beans, weigh out 18 grams into the dosing cup. Okay. 17.9, 17.9, close enough to 18. Okay, now we're gonna take our, our mister, two spritz. We're doing this to get rid of the static in the beam. We're gonna now take this, top of the hopper. Make sure all your beans are out. Put the lid back on, and we're gonna take a coffee rag, ride this out, okay? It's gonna click into place. Grind your beans. So I like keeping all of my tools in a basket here. That way when I open this cabinet, I pull it out, all my tools are here. I'm not grabbing them one by one. This helps with workflow extremely well. And I will link all these products in the description below. If you wanna buy it for me, great. If not, that's fine too. Okay, so once you hear this machine change tone, you know that your beans are ready to go, okay? So take your, take your open back porta filter, put it on top, flip this over, Give it a couple jumps, side of the counter. Two tamps. That's gonna settle the beans into the basket. Take your ring, put it on top. That's gonna allow for our next step, the WDT tool. As we mix up here, micro circles, micro circles. We're on the bottom of the basket. These needles are on the bottom of the basket, scraping the bottom. Now I'm at the mid level of the basket, micro circles. I'm the, nearing the top of the basket. Okay, now I'm just brushing the top here to pretty much even these out a little bit. Put your tool back in this little holster. Okay, while grabbing this funnel and the porta filter, two tamps. It's gonna settle the beans and the grounds into this basket here, okay? You get a little overflow right there, which is okay. Now you're gonna take your leveler, put your leveler on top couple spins. Some of the coffee remains in there. What are we going to do? Knock it out on the side of the counter. Take your tamper, put it on top. Now this is leveled out. Push down. All air out of this puck. I want no air left in this puck. If there are force that's required to get rid of the air, use that. Okay, great. Give it a little tap. Here's our, our basket and our puck. Puck screen on top. That's going to allow no coffee to backflow into the machine. That's gonna help distribute the water into the basket. Take your espresso cup, put it on the scale, get on, zero it out, okay? Once this is zeroed, hold the double cup button, which is pre-infusion, and you'll see below here. Once those drops start to pretty much form into the middle, you can see them coming out. Not yet, not yet. Right now, release the pre-infusion, start the timer. We're aiming for 36 grams of coffee in 25 to 30 seconds. You can see there's no channeling at all. So right now we're at 26 grams, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 33. All right, right there. So we pretty much did 24 seconds, 36 and a half grams. At this point, we can pull the shot off. It did run a little quick. So what I might want to do is just take my my grind adjustment size, and I wanna go one finer. That's gonna allow my 36 grams of coffee to come out maybe in 27 seconds. So that's what I would recommend. This is ready to serve. Take a saucer, put it on, espresso spoon, stir this up, give it a taste, and this is incredible. So delicious. I have yet to come to any espresso shop anywhere in the US that can produce this quality espresso um, ever, you know. Back when I first started this journey out, I was making Nespresso's and they were good, they were quick, they were fast. However, one day I had a friend, he showed me his Breville Brisa Express, all these tools, and I went from a three out of 10 to a nine plus out of 10. Uh, people, they say, go to Italy for the best espresso, okay? You can make the best espresso at home here following these tips.